So the project uh, we will be focusing uh, here uh, is the implementation of uh, Kenny edge detection in Verilog. And uh, we will be using uh, Vivado and some Python scripts as well as some Bash scripts for uh, automation. And uh, of course, just uh, VS Code to view contents. And uh, we will be giving a uh, input of uh, 512 into 512 image. So that would be uh, converted into a text file. So there would be a conversion of the image matrix into a text file. And the text file, from the text file, we would be taking uh, inputs into the Verilog module. The Verilog module would get uh, inputs uh, from the text file. You could observe that text file here, the generated input text file. And the Verilog uh, module would process, would perform the Kenny edge detection and would uh, result in a uh, output file, the edge file kenny.txt. And this file would be containing the matrix uh, of the output image, uh, which is similar to this. So using that, uh, we will be doing certain post-processing steps like uh, uh, to retrieve the output image uh, from the text file. So when considering the uh, conversion of the image into a text file, as we know, we will be scaling it into 256 into 256 uh, image. So the 256 into 256 image, each pixel would have uh, surrounding pixels and uh, a 3 into 3 image window would be considered for each pixel. So 256 into 256, uh, for all of these pixels, we would be considering 9 each uh, surrounding pixels, the image window, 3 into 3 image window, and that could be the uh, content of the generated input.txt. So it would be printed in hexadecimal form uh, in the txt file. So this would uh, the first nine would represent the uh, three to three image window surrounding the first pixel uh, observed in the image, while the other uh, the next nine would uh, be of that of the second and so on. It would go. And uh, now let us look at uh, the implementation part. So I'll remove the output images and also the temp files. Open the bar So in Vivado, uh, we would uh, need to run simulation. So before the simulation, we need to have a bit of a pre-processing uh, pre uh, that we talked about. So in the pre-processing, let's consider the test two image. This is the uh, this is the input image we are considering. So when we run the pre-processing part. You could observe that uh, uh, input file has been generated. So the pre-processing part would give uh, the text file uh, that is corresponding to this. So now we will uh, go into the Kenyage detection Verilog modules, Verilog code. So we are using here Vivado, and uh, in Kenyage, uh, each nine input, each nine uh, the 3 into 3 image window would contain 9 inputs. So there we take those inputs through these 9 uh, ports. And then we have certain declarations of ports and uh, registers and uh, uh, internal wires as well. And here would come the computation of the vertical gradient. So the requirement here is to uh, compute the vertical gra uh, gradient with sign as well as a horizontal gradient as well as its sign. So here we utilize the Sobel filter. So here we would have the, we would be considering the 
uh, third column and here we will be considering the first column and here we will be calculating the uh, vertical gradient and also we would determine the sign of the vertical gradient as well and in similar fashion in similar fashion uh, we would uh, get uh, the horizontal gradient and its sign as well so after we have the horizontal and uh, vertical gradients we will be able to threshold it and uh, determine whether it's a detection uh, with the, whether it is an edge or not and also we have created a simulation a test paint as well in order to verify that the canny model canny module uh, is correctly working so now let us run the simulation so once the simulation is done there should be a, a output file generated so the simulation is almost done and here we could observe uh, simulation here we could observe the simulation and uh, Here we could observe the file corresponding to the test tool image uh, or canny edge detection performed on the test tool image. So now we can run the post processing script which should give the resulted image, canny image. So that's the image uh, that has been created under resources now. So we also performed uh, an automation script. We also created an automation uh, automation script, a bash script, which should uh, do these things. And we have the sim Vivado simulation uh, using the uh, Vivado TCL commands. So that has also been included. So now let us uh, close the Vivado window, and uh, now let us run so I'll remove the temp files that get be generated also the output file so now I'll run uh, from resources I'm taking the test2.jpg so we could observe that uh, there's a input file being generated and also the Vivado simulation has been launched it and uh, we haven't opened it so that uh, it is uh, launching uh, in the background so it's still running okay i have uh, displayed the results uh, for each uh, input combination so it's printing whether 255 or 0 at uh, each pixels so there will be 256 into 256 uh, printing statements here and then the output is saved as test to output jpg so we could observe uh, that as well and uh, the other part is uh, imp implementation uh, of uh, uh, this in the fpga basis 3 board so there were certain issues uh, regarding that part and uh, we uh, tried to implement it uh, using the SPI protocol. So we have the module implemented it here, but uh, there were certain issues uh, uh, when uh, implementing it on the board. So now we'll look into the uh, GitHub page where the SPI model is defined. So can you test square? So here is what the module is defined. So basically, 
uh, the flow of it is that uh, we would have a flag uh, uh, to determine uh, from which to which we would be sending the information. So once the clock is on, we would be sending 16-bit data, uh, RX data from machine to FPGA. And after performing all the processing, uh, we would be uh, getting information from the FPGA to the machine. So that's the basic idea we were uh, trying to get it done. And uh, uh, there were certain issues which uh, made us unable to uh, get that part working.